<laughs> we're like, hey, what's up, guys? Okay. How about now? I don't know how it got muted, but we were muted. How about now? Anyway. The fact that you guys are still here, um, even with no sound, I can see the bar moving. This is just like, well, sound? it still picks up. It just had us muted. It just picks up like the, uh, it's, it's going to be like the prequel where we just kind of show you things. <laughs> Anyway, this was like huge chippy chunks coming off of it. Um, we had to sand that. It looked more like the front, but the chipping on the top because we heat gunned it most likely uh, was so strong. We're like, yeah, we can't leave that. You wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. It basically all came off, but love the way that came out. And then mine, I wet distressed it here. I'm going to continue wet distressing it. We're going to add some waxes and do some things with that. All this stuff we're talking about, you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com if you want to get similar looks on your own pieces. I feel like I need to say what I already said at the beginning because there's no sound on. Um, this was so bad. I'm going to show you the picture on my phone. I did not want Zeb to sand it in the house. He really <laughs> wanted to do it for you guys so you could see the joy of the milk paint chipping off. But it would have been a mess. I really did not want that all over my house. As it is, I'm barely keeping it together with a solid 10 days of no added sugar and no soda. So I can't, I'm like mentally can't do it. But I will show you what it looked like um, before he sanded it. And if you guys didn't watch last week's live, then you won't know how we got to this point. But can you, I can't tell, but you don't have the, I don't know what they're seeing. Sorry. You guys see that? Hey, touch it soft. Okay, there you go. So there's what the top looked like. Can they, if you turn it blurred? sideways, you get a bigger picture. <laughs> oh, and we're live. All right. Are they seeing it? Yeah, they can see the big All chunks right. of chippy. You get the point. You understand what was going on here. Okay. So anyways, that's why we sanded it ahead of time. And we're going to start doing two-part Waste Not Wednesdays because... Some of these projects, they just cannot be done live in an hour. It just doesn't happen. So Zeb is going to be wet distressing his. He did not use milk paint. He used just DIY paint and salt wash. Yeah. And that's why his didn't chip. Mine is super chippy because my top color is pantry door milk paint. But also the salt wash was like the, what, what did we use? Was it faded burlap? Yes. Faded burlap. And then the original color of my piece was cream. So that's coming through. Zeb's original color was red and blue, which is why he's going to wet distress to really try to get down to some of those original paint color layers. I also have some grease spots like bleed through. This probably lived in a garage. Who knows what's spilled on it? And so the wet distressing will help keep that from just gumming up in the sander and also remove it. Looks like the uh, leak crew showed up. So Zeb might have to bounce for a second just to go talk to them. They're addressing the situation with our eyeballs. We have a front water leak. Oh, the, the, so we've had some cold nights and I think the, the shutoff valves on the city side for our irrigation water is leaking. And we've got like a small pond forming in the front yard and it's snowing outside today. And it's, it's interesting. Snow was not on the forecast, I might add. And then all of a sudden, I look at my family chat this morning and Caitlin shows a picture of snow and I'm like, what the heck? It better just have snowed in Orem. Nope. Surely not. Snowed everywhere. So you guys can see I'm starting, I'm getting all the way back to the wood grain, but right here you can really see, let me darken it up a little bit so you can see those uh, brush strokes that I did. Let me bring you in. All right, there you can see it. So when I was putting the salt wash on, we did kind of like a cross hatch back and forth pattern and it gave us some really good highs and lows right here. And the wood piece already had some chinks and chips and divots. So the wet distress really brings that back without just sanding off all of that brush stroke detail that I wanted to have on here. That's on purpose. We did it on purpose. I can't decide if I want to put, I'm going to do a stencil on mine. This is our farmhouse 1917 stencil. I mean, we call our house farmhouse 1917. I'm not sure if anybody else wants something that says that. But I can't decide if I want to use the whole stencil or just the 1917. What do you think? Um, I think just the 1917. Yeah, that would be cool. And I'm going to put it over here in the corner. Although I could put it over here in the corner. What do you think? Here, Zeb? Here or here? I like the corner on the top and maybe, you know, you can do it down below too. A lot of shipping crates have stuff on the top, all the sides, bottom. Oh, yeah. I mean, you Sweet. can put it where you want. I, but I'm telling you without sugar, it's like I, I've lost my superpower for any decision making. 
let me show you. I'm going to spin this around so you can see kind of those stains I'm talking about. So when I wipe this back, because this had like some oil or something come through, what's going to happen is I'm probably going to get all the way down to that original red and blue color and maybe even the wood. So the struggle I'm going to have is I always get to work on the side with all the wires. So I might have to sit up here so I can actually get to it. Hold so on. you see that red coming back through there. And then I've got some more of these brush strokes up above it that I'm going to try to get out. Because I didn't do full coverage with the salt wash mixture, but I've got more of that grease stain down here. That's just adding to my wet distress. And I knew before I painted it, like I'd wiped it down and got the dust and some of the cobwebs and things off, but I didn't super scrub it beforehand because I knew that some of this was going to lend to my end finish. If you're real concerned about that, you want like a really nice, neat finish, scrub your piece down super good. Get it really, really clean. So I'm going to stencil in weathered wood. It's my favorite like dark color for stenciling because black can be kind of garish and like just too dark but I want something fairly dark and weathered wood is a really good option. I also like old school. I'm using the JRV one inch stencil brush cause this is a pretty yeah. big stencil, not super detailed. Um, and I've offloaded to where my brush is mostly dry. So if you have a problem with your stencils, oops, sorry. Sounds on. I'm bringing you, comments up. Okay. I have comments over here too. Um, if you start to see bleed through happening, your brush needs to be even more dry. And sometimes people think, Oh, I've, I've got it pretty dry. I can't possibly get it any more dry. If it's leaking, you can get it more dry and you should. Sometimes you have to do like multiple coats, but that's better than having a stencil that's leaking underneath. And if it does leak and you like distress the way that we do, um, we just distress it and get rid of it. Rid of it. That is not focusing on you. It's all blurry. Six more weeks of winter is what the groundhog said. Oh, great. Stinking groundhog. So there was this meme going around and it was a groundhog like in her curlers and bathrobe. And it was the groundhog's ex-wife. And she's like, the groundhog's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It made me laugh way more than it should have. All right. So if you want it to be really dark and you're offloading the way that I am, you got to let it dry in between. I'm okay if it's not 100% dark because I'm going to just dress it anyways. All right, so I've got my 1917 on there and I'm going to let that dry. Well, that's drying. I'm going to get started clear waxing. Can you pass, pass me a brush? Yes. Um, you said clear? Yeah. You might want to wipe this off first. I think it's mostly clean. It has a little bit of hint of yellow on it. I don't know if the you want to The groundhawk is that. not a meteorologist. I don't know that, you know, I don't want to throw meteorologists under the bus, but, but here in Utah, they struggle. <laughs> I feel like everywhere they do. So I asked my neighbor as she was clearing the her, the snow off her car this morning. I was like, how do you like the snow? And she's like, I woke up this morning and I asked Siri if we were supposed to get snow today. And she said that we were not. So even Siri knew that we were not supposed to get snow. So this color underneath that we put the salt wash in was faded burlap. The color on top on my piece is pantry door milk paint. The milk paint is not going to change as much color wise when I clear wax it because it it's not clay based, but you're going to notice as I wax that this base color that's coming through from the salt wash that faded burlap is really going to darken up. And the same thing is going to happen as this 1917 dries. It'll get lighter because that's clay based paint. And when I seal it, it'll get dark again. So just keep that in mind with colors. And I'm going to clear wax this because I'm going to come in and black wax it to bring out some of the detail and grunge and i want to clear wax it first so i have control if you use black or dark wax without clear waxing first and you cannot control it then that is why because you got to have the clear wax because this paint is so absorbent it just soaks up whatever wax you put on it first and that black wax is going to be dirty and it ain't never coming back you can use clear wax after black wax, kind of like an eraser, but you've got a clear wax. And you definitely, on a piece this chippy, would not want to use a liquid sealer because this thing would just chip and chip and chip and chip and it would never stop. I'm going to bring both boxes back here. Just okay. seeing if I have any questions. How many of you guys that are watching have tried milk paint? We've been using a lot of mixture of 
DIY paint and milk paint. And so we've been getting a ton of milk paint questions. Um, and I think a lot of people have not tried it. The, the truth is even we sometimes can't get it to do exactly what we want. And it can be frustrating. But this look that I, we have with this like chippy, authentic layer, like if you saw this in real life, you would think it was legit old. It, I've never got it with any other product besides milk paint. You can get close but I've never been successful at it. Can you guys see that that's darker now? I'm gonna put, tip this up. Had to rinse some so of the, the paint out. So the faded burlap that's still left underneath the chipping paint got a lot darker with that clear wax. And I'm using um, Sweet Pick and Spees Wax. You can't get it like this, but I get it in 32 ounce tubs um, because I'm a retailer. And I these are the tubs that we use when I'm doing like craft kits. And I have so much left over from past craft kits, so I've got to start using it. So I could sand this, but like I said before, I really want to keep all the texture I built with the salt wash. So that's why the rag, and this is this DIY paint, I'm having to put some elbow grease into it. It's been on here for a week since we did this and it's starting to cure up a little bit. It will harden over about 30 days but if you don't want it to come off like this, it's still a good idea to seal your pieces. That wax or uh, liquid top coat, um, the, the big top is really great, is gonna really help protect it and make it a nice durable finish. So uh, let's see, who just said, are these my real lashes? Yes, I am real lashes. I do have mascara on. Somebody just said, I missed it. It scrolled past. Oh, Melissa McCracken. She used milk paint for the first time and made a hot mess. Carol Krause says she signed up for uh, channel membership in December and hasn't seen any print printouts or extra videos. So you find those in community. We don't actually send you a link because YouTube doesn't share your personal information with us. So I don't have your email or any way to send you stuff. You got to come look for it in the community tab on our homepage on YouTube. And we put the links in there and they're for just, it'll say channel member only. And only you guys that are channel members will see those links. And that's where we put the links for the live stream videos and also the link for the printable with the password because the printables are password protected because they are licensed for you to print out a hundred of them. And so we don't open those up to everybody to look at. So the other thing too, is if you're looking at, you can't find a community on an iPad, you have to be on a phone or a computer. If you guys are on Facebook and you've subscribed and joined the Facebook group, Zeb just put the last live video from before we opened up the Facebook subscription group um, on the private group. So Facebook's done a little bit differently. There's actually a group that runs the private membership, whereas YouTube, there's no group. You just have to go to the community tab and scroll back till you find the channel member only post, which will have the links for the live videos and the printables. Barry says, I've used milk paint. I just recently found you guys and then enjoyed making your videos. Sweet. Thank you. So if you're watching for channel member videos, those will be coming up soon. Next week, we have one at 1.30 yeah. Mountain Time. Yeah, so next week is the first uh, channel membership video of February. And that will be for YouTube channel member as well as anybody that is a subscriber on Facebook. So Facebook is just called subscribing and you can hit that button and it will add you to the private group. And that's where you get the extra live videos. And it's just like YouTube channel membership. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm coming with black wax now that I've clear waxed this. And I really just want to distress and age the edges. So that way it looks really authentically old because if you have an old crusty um, box like this, it's going to get black around the edges and age over time. So do you see how that wipes off nice and neat? And I still have a light part and the dark part is down the cracks. That's because I clear waxed it. So if I didn't clear wax this, I would just have all black and it would probably never come off. So this is why you want to clear wax first. And then the other thing I'm doing is I am black waxing the crack. And then I'm going to take that black wax and go all the way around the edges. And I'm going to do that to the whole piece, and that's going to help age my piece. I haven't waxed here yet with the clear wax because I was waiting for that stencil to dry, and I'm going to do that in a minute. Yeah, you can always turn off your YouTube channel membership and go on Facebook if you want to. 
we um it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different like you won't have the same emojis that you get on youtube and you won't have the bird by your name but then you'll have the group so i guess it's just whatever you choose and we can't just add you to that group because you're on youtube because facebook automatically puts the people in that group that pay for the subscription all right so i'm coming through and i'm gonna add this dark i feel like i'm gonna be wet distressing for the rest of the video and that is why I sanded ahead of time because I was like, I just want to spend my time really showing you guys all the waxing details because it just totally brings your piece to life. Oh, Gay Langston just joined channel membership. Thank you, Gay. Yeah, so what will happen if you're on YouTube and channel membership next Monday or Tuesday, we'll put a post up just reminding you guys of the live. And then we will put the link to the live video in that post on Facebook, we won't have to do that because we're going to go live on, we'll be using StreamYard. So we'll be going live to the private link in YouTube and then we'll go live in the Facebook subscription group itself. Okay, I feel like that's enough distressing. I'm like getting breathy over here. If Mark you guys says, can hear in the background, we got two puppies that are very demanding this morning. Uh Oh, yes. Here's, here's Cody. He's 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 over here scratching my leg. As oh, he's I about to eat some weathered wood. It's okay. He'll be all right. It's all natural. It's all natural. But Cody Cody wants to say hi. Super bad. <laughs> he's so dark. He doesn't show up on camera very good. He's, he is so cute. He absorbs all the light. He's uh, he's like eight pounds. My mom says she thinks he's gained another pound, so we're going to yeah, have to. He might he might be up to nine. Hey, bud, I'll we're, get you down. We're gonna have to measure. All right. There's Cody. Now he's, he's been the snuggle pup. He he's likes been to seen. Be, he likes to be on our bed, and Rex likes to lay under our bed. He does not like to be on the bed. It's too soft for him. I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer so you can really see that good age Jamie's putting on this with that dark wax. It's looking great, especially around the hinges and where you got the really big crackle. That makes it look like it's been around forever. And let's say I want to add a little bit more age in this crackle part here because it's really going to bring it up. I can go ahead and black wax. I mean... Nothing says you only have to do the edges, but you want to wipe it back right away so you it doesn't have time to like sit there. And it's really just going to bring out the age a little bit better. And it and it may in this case because it's so chippy keep chipping quite a bit. Looks like the water guy is left. Martina Davis says she joined channel membership last week and she's been binging all the videos. Um, and she's just commenting today because she wanted to see the bird by her name. <laughs> oh, fun. Welcome. Um, let's see. Milk paint still scares me. You know what? You The best things in life are the things that scare you. You have to do things that scare you. And realize, like in this case, this piece was like, I think this was a free piece. And that one was $5. And for a piece this small, you could get away with just a sample of milk paint, which is not a huge investment. So probably you're talking under $15 all total of product on here and what you're painting. So worst case scenario, if you hate it, you just take it back to the store and pretend you never owned it. And then you try it again and you have to keep trying it. And then eventually you really understand how it works and you get to love it. It took me about five projects. So to Melissa really McCracken it. says, it looks like she commented before. I'm going to guess that she's having a problem with chipping. She put big top over her milk paint. The trouble with that, is, it's water. is that the milk, the big top is water based. And if you've got a really chippy piece, it's going to make it chip even more and not help it stick down per se, Clear uh, wax which is why we use the wax that. on the really chippy pieces because it doesn't reactivate that milk paint. Zeb, did you grab sandpaper? I'm trying to decide before I wax this. I'm about ready to go on with some clear. That way I can start doing my dark waxing. Mm -hmm. But I've got these big numbers. What do you guys think? Should I put... A I think you should put like one number. Like one? Yeah. I just, I kind of like where you put yours over there on the side. Yeah, that would work too. But I'm a left to right guy, so I might Can put it over there. Can you pass me that sandpaper though? Because now that I'm up on the countertop, I'm kind of committed to just being up here. <laughs> it's like when you're sitting in a booth and you're in the inside corner and everybody has to hand you stuff because you can't get out. Okay, so some of the, this is actually chipping because the paint underneath is still pretty chippy, but I'm going to go ahead and sand this 1917 a little bit, and then I'll be able to clear wax this part. Okay, this is important. 
if I rub this, it's going to smear the DIY paint, which is okay because I'm getting grungy here. But the best course of action is to do this. Dry paper towel helps too. Now I've got most of it off and now I'm going to take a dry paper towel. I love that you got some of that milk paint back through that too. Yeah, doesn't it look good? And I'm going to remove some of the pigment because basically, look, that's like straight up pigment because DIY paint is so pigmented. Now I can, now I'm ready for clear wax. If I didn't do that and I just clear waxed it, it would have been like schmear city and you don't want that. Okay, where's the clear wax though? Um, cobwebs. Uh, Cody is a schnoodle, which is a poodle and a schnauzer. He's a mini, so he's about, he might get up to about 10 pounds, but he's not going to get too much bigger. He's just about done growing. All right, I'm going to wax this and it's going to get, look how much darker that went. Can you guys see how that darkened up? Look at that. It's good. And all that chippy milk paint through. So this looks like legit old. It's not like I just used sandpaper. That is why milk paint is amazing. Hey guys, hey, stop it with the fighting. Cody, get off of Rex. All right. You would think because Cody is much smaller, about half now, that uh, you know the problem would be with Rex, but Cody starts all the wrestling. Cody is an instigator. I don't know, you're a lot bigger than me and I start stuff with you, so. I'm just clear waxing the side because this is my next black wax area. I don't want to knock. Here, Zeb, can you move that weathered wood over? Because yeah. Gonna... All right. I didn't see anybody recommending any letters or numbers where they wanted to see it, so I'm going to go with it. If you did comment and I missed it, I'm sorry. I apologize beforehand. I think I'm, I don't know. I'm either I'm torn between this two. I don't know why it's calling my name this morning and the five. Meeny, meeny, miny, five it is. Oh my gosh. This box is so much better than it was before. Yeah. I love it. it okay, is. this is my wax brush. I don't want that. I almost want to do it over. I'm putting this back in the middle in case you need it. I don't know. I really like the corner you put yours in, but I. You can copy me. It's no, okay. I'm a left Zeb's to... box is actually already sold. I'm just telling you because we've gotten like 800 messages on it. But my box, my box is still single. Let me borrow that stencil it's brush single you were using. And it's, um, I think I threw it right in the middle there. Oh, yeah, you did. I was trying to get things out of the way. My box is still single. And I have to be up here, guys, because there's 400 cords right here. Oh, the city brought out the big guns. Um, They got to suck that water dry. <laughs> they got to suck that water. They brought there's, out this giant tank vacuum. There's a lot the water of water out. over there now that's starting to pull up and run down the street. <laughs> and it's, it's secondary water. It's what we use for irrigation here in Utah. Um, they usually turn it off all winter. It doesn't look like they turned our street off because it's, or there's just a lot of water in the pipes because it's running. So Jane says, I'm just sitting here throwing things. That is absolutely what's happening this morning. I'm on the struggle bus. Like I, I'm having a hard time. My life I is very, it's not like organized, but it's very tight in the time that I have to do things. And these puppies, albeit cute, are interrupting so many parts of my life. <laughs> And I'm like falling apart. Did you put Cody you guys, on the chair? I did, so Rex couldn't get him. You guys show him how show them how cute he is on that chair. Cody's sitting over here on the chair, just chilling out. And every <laughs> now and then I pet him so he stays there. I stenciled this just now and didn't realize that the camera wasn't showing it. Um <laughs> I got my five on here. <laughs> it's okay. Jamie's box is much more interesting with the chipping and things that's going on there well and when the black wax gets in the crackle it just really makes it look good so i'm smearing it around which like i said if you're just tuning in i have a lot more control over my black wax because i i clear waxed first but you can put clear wax like if you have like right here there's like a really harsh line i use clear wax like an eraser and now i'm able to have more control they're talking about the smell milk paint has when you mix it up until it dries they're like i don't i don't love it <laughs> you know what the it does smell but i don't really notice it anymore i'm gonna grab the heat gun real fast so i can get my five dry to stress it then i'm gonna wax everything can you guys see the black wax i think that they can so cool cakes is laughing at the plus zeb's got sold but my box is still single oh my watch is talking to me all right now i'm gonna be waxing this side <clears throat> Every side is different. That's the thing about milk paint. Like this side is not super chippy, but I'm going to clear wax this and I'm going to show you this side and it is a lot more chippy. Not as chippy as the top.
I really need to soak all my wax brushes and downy dunk them because they're a little bit stiff. Got a wet spot over here too. It might be more bleed through that I got to sand off. Yeah, there's a lot of bleed through on that side. Shit. I'm like a little bit concerned, like, please don't hit my car parked in the driveway. If you guys follow me on stories, we, my car, um, Zeb and I, because we're self-employed, January is like new car month. So I have a car relatively new. <laughs> There's like white DIY paint all down the side of it. And so I put in my stories on Instagram and Facebook, like this is why I can't have nice things. But the good news is because it was DIY paint, it wiped right off. So this is just 220. Pretty much if we're distressing, we're using 220. I only use the heavier grits, like uh, 80 or 60 or even 100, if we're going to be doing um, like a lot of like material moving, like table sanding or something. Okay. Now, Jamie, you can see the powdering a lot on mine here. You can kind of blow it, but I'm going to wipe it back with this dry paper towel. Dry, heavy on the dry paper towel because if it's wet... All right, now my five is much more uh, faint, and I'm going to start is waxing. Is milk paint non-toxic? Milk paint is not only non-toxic, it has been USDA bio-certified, which means it's food safe. I don't know that DIY paint is not food safe because it's just never been tested, but milk paint has been tested, and it is food safe and non-toxic. So both paints are, and the waxics are not bio-certified, but they are... Um, non-toxic as well. So this is totally safe for us to be doing in our kitchen without the doors open. In fact, the um, Sweet Pickens beeswax, if you've never used it, is actually has a very sweet smell. It does take a little bit longer to cure. It's very citrusy. Yeah, it does take a little bit longer to cure than the DIY wax, but it smells sweet. Protects about the same that yeah. I've noticed. I haven't seen any difference in the amount of uh, sealing properties that it has. My logo is right over my face. Yeah, well, we is. can't move the logo, so. She'd have to move. I'd have to move. And I, I, I'm committed to right here. I mean, my face is cool, but really we're working on pieces anyways, so. My black wax is really low. Oh, gosh. Did Roger go to school today? Yep. Okay. I thought maybe they were calling to tell me. They're probably calling to tell me Jack's not there, but he is because, oops. I had a talk with him about being tardy to class. He's been playing long on the on the playground. He's been having then, second breakfast. And getting happening. to class late. And they're marking him absent because he's not there when they're taking roll. I'm like, Jack, come Where on. Is, can I have that clear wax back, Scooty? Uh, yes. I'm going to show you this side in a second. I'm Here, just doing the same thing. Can we share in the middle? I'll, I'll really love my brush. Your arms out. are longer. Okay. I'll... I'll agree to that. You got a little T-Rex arms. When we walk on the track at the Legacy Center in the morning, I have to walk on the inside and he walks on the outside and that makes up for the fact that his legs are so much longer than mine. They're not like a ton longer because I have longer legs than I do a body. But, all right. So we're going to switch this around. So you guys can see this side. Zeb, it's done that thing where we've been on for 30 minutes. Oh. So you can see this side is a lot chippier. I just got done clear waxing and black waxing it. If you guys hear a truck, there's an enormous pump truck outside the house sucking up water. Is there a food grade top coat? So hemp oil would be your best option. Also bio-certified. It's with also bio-certified um, for a cutting board. It's not going to be like super watertight for like a dining table, but for a cutting board, use hemp oil. And if you want to stain your cutting board, just take, we have a video, if you look it up on YouTube on how food safe stain or whatever, just search food safe stain, Jamie Ray Vintage, it'll pop up. And you can actually mix a little bit of milk paint in with your hemp oil and create a food safe stain. And you can stain your cutting board and it will seal it as well. So hopefully that helps. I'm going to heavier distress right here. You can kind of see I've got some more. Didn't I tell a story that Debbie ate DIY paint? She yeah. did. And we have, Debbie and I have used it for like, we've used uh, the wax as <laughs> lip balm. <laughs> and I do have to say, after you use especially the beeswax from Sweet Pickens, it'll make your hands soft. Um, Angela says, I love both of these boxes. I only have two more sides to do, but somebody stole the clear wax again. I haven't used the, oh, here. 
I haven't used any dark wax on this. I don't know that my box needs it. It was grungy enough before I started painting that uh, it looks like it's got plenty. Yeah, your, your wax is, your piece understood the assignment there. So I had to pull more paint off. It was bleeding through again. Once I wax it, typically everything will kind of dry out together. Is Big Top good for kitchen cabinets? Yes. And Sweet Pickens Top Coat, we've used both. We've got Sweet Pickens Top Coat on our cabinet style. And there definitely is some wear like on the cabinet that has the trash can in it. But it's not like peeling off. It's just wear over the last year. And that happens. I don't care what my cousin has cabinets that are white lacquered. She has wear on her cabinets too. Paint. It's just the nature of paint. So if you can't wrap your head around the fact that over time you will see wear in your cabinets, you should probably not paint them. You should stain them. I don't mind a little wear, obviously. It's kind of what I'm going for in life. So Angela asked if you can use wax over stain. Yeah, just let the stain dry. Um, the wax will cure up just as well over stain too. Um, nice thing about wax, is the, the adage is you want to wax last because it needs to breathe, especially as it's drying. Um, so whatever you've got underneath, whether it's paint, um, seal, you can wax over other sealers too if you want more of like a matte finish. Um, stains, milk paint, it goes pretty much over everything. Just make sure it's your last step. If you guys, that truck's getting loud, so here we go. They're really pumping now. Oh, they're not, they're not even digging. They're totally cheating. They're pressure washing the dirt and the pump is sucking everything up. They're like digging the dirt with the pressure washer. What? That is awesome. I'm going to have to employ that method. At Give some those point. boys a shovel. And now they don't even have a shovel out there. I thought there, there was going to be a shovel situation. My question is, where's all my dirt going? And where's the grass? <laughs> yeah. Because we have worked very hard on this grass. When we bought this house, a lot of things were wrong with it, but the grass was beautifully upkept. Okay, I'm going to switch this around. You know what I Stephanie think? Stephanie Randall had a fun idea. We probably won't do it on these pieces because Jamie's has wheels. Oh, mine still has sawdust and cobwebs on the bottom. I'll make sure those are gone. But I have these like runners on mine, so I don't know that I'll put feet on them, but it would be cool to raise these up. You could put little feet on them. So There's I'm actually, I'm going to show you this in a minute. I'm actually black waxing, not just the middle anymore because this side has the most amazing delicious crackle and if you don't black wax it you're not going to see that so i'm bringing that out in my piece and that's making me very very happy this morning i or, might not be able to control the world but painting is really satisfying because i know that i can have fun or, and cody I just saw the guys outside cody he's, stop barking he's like what is going he probably on also out there wants down yeah he's fine all right so zeb can you help me move this yeah i feel like i'm you got it yeah i'm Did just like okay so there's this side you want to show them up close and then if you hit the camera it'll kind of tune in now i'm gonna to have to make sure i don't have any lines with my black wax here can you guys see that oh yeah you can so right here i black wax that and then wiped it back and i'm probably going to use some clear wax just to make sure i don't have any weird lines to blur it out but all this crackle here 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 you probably wouldn't see as well without mom we're live <laughs> oh there's somebody there. you're on your own <laughs> oh, no. sorry hey, hey he's okay mom do you know that you're alive <laughs> with your hey. face hey. Shh. hey hey yeah we're on cap yeah i can see you it's weird <laughs> I guess trying to tell you. Is, it, is that where it's leaking? Is in between? Uh, okay. Um, okay. So, I could now. probably look at it. What is, that, is the um, yeah. cleanest white milk paint? Uh, flower sack. Flower sack is the whitest white milk paint. Oops, I got to get rid of this. Oh, Zeb, your mic was on. I don't know what you just said to them, but everybody on YouTube heard you. Oh, good times. So what are they going to do? Are they going to fix it and bill us? I don't know. Zeb's outside. Zeb, did you turn your mic off? 
I don't know if you turned this mic off. I'm just going to keep, you know, working on my piece here. I'm going to go grab the wax because Zeb took it again. Okay. I've only got one more side. This is why we have to do two part series because we're like 40 minutes into it and I'm barely getting to waxing this last side. And sometimes if we don't come back to it on a video, then we never come back to it all. We did a bench a while back and the paint was super chippy and uh, they, uh, it, it's still not finished. We're gonna have to finish it on a video. He took it off and put it on the counter by the dishwasher. Oh, good. Not that what he's saying is private, but I don't know that you want to hear his conversation with uh, the drill guys from the city figuring out our, our leak. We've had this issue a few times previously. We had an issue because I may have driven over it, but lately I've been super careful using my 360 degree camera to keep my SUV off the water. <laughs> Zeb said, I got to get rid of this and set it on the counter. That's funny. My mom is 82 years young, and so she's got to keep her face looking good. That's why she was on here with her blue mask. All right. I guess since Zeb's gone, I can wax from the front. It's just really hard to wax from the front when he's on because there's, you might not be able to see this, but where the computer is, there's a bunch of wires. And if hell hath no theory, like Zeb when I unplugged his wires. Okay. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Hopefully I don't mess up. And let's do some waxing. So this piece actually has, this side has the most paint left on it, but it also has the most delicious uh, crackle. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Look at me moving the camera, not unplugging things. Hopefully nobody's saying anything important because I can't also monitor comments. My bun's gonna be in the way for just a second. Let's see if I can turn the computer this way. Why is the clear wax in a storage container? Okay, so the clear wax is in a storage container because I am a retailer for Sweet Pickens and I can get a 32 ounce container of it. And so I get the big containers for when we're doing craft kits and we just have a bunch left over. So I'm putting on this black wax to bring out the detail of all the delicious crackle. We didn't get as much chippy, but we got the milk paint blessing of crackle. Milk paint always has something to offer. Either the paint chips off or it gets crackly most of the time. Sorry, guys. You never know what's going to happen on a live stream around here. Sorry, right. I've, kept the, I've kept it entertaining. You kept the excitement going? I don't know if I did or not, but I got it. I moved your stuff over and took over. That's I, fine. I, I just, I'm clear waxing pretty much. I can't do this from the front without moving stuff because those wires. All right. Here, I can move some of those wires. So I want to get kind of dirty on the front here because it's going to be boring if I don't get black wax in all these cracks. And then I had my mic on. I forgot. I'm like yeah. out there talking to him. I don't. What did? So what did he realized when he saw the microphone? He's like, "Are you guys doing like YouTube or something?" I'm like, "Yep, exactly that." And now you are also <laughs> live on YouTube. Uh, so. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna clean the hole out, and then later, once I'm done fixing it, because it's in between the two shutoffs. So if it goes past the shutoff, it's not on them. They don't repair it. It's on your side. Yeah. And you gotta fix it or hire somebody. So. I get to go down in that muddy hole and fix it, but they're going to they... clean it out pretty good. And then they're going to bring the dirt back because I teased them. I'm like, what are you going to do with my dirt? You took all the dirt out of here because they've got a big hole out in the front yard. Well, that's better than you having to dig it up though, right? <laughs> yep. That's way better than me having to dig it up. Are they going to bill us for that? Uh, no. He did like... say that he's got a couple fittings on his truck and he's going to leave those for me too. Oh, I love Lehigh City. All right. Now, since I really got into the black wax here, I'm going to clear wax. Because I don't want it to be like black halos. Because when things wear, it doesn't have a halo, right? It just has different areas where it's dirty. So this is going to help blend it. And then I'll just wipe it back. And then my box will pretty much be done. Other than I probably need to scrub the inside. Oh, look, Karen owned this. I'm going to leave that. So if your name is Karen and you need this box, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is the inside of my box. I don't know if you guys can see it Yeah, you it might want to well. move that. All right, you're going to have to scooch over. Okay, I'm going to scooch and don't over. don't unplug this... anything. Just I'm, don't that, step backwards. I'm trying. That's the why. And I've the been... live stream won't end. That's why I've been on the counter the whole time because I didn't want to undo the wires. Cody, it's okay. I, we, we I'll, went out. I'll love on him. I'm actually done. So. We went out. We met the people. They're okay, guys. Come here, Cody. Come on, baby. Hey, so if you guys are following along and you want to know the products that we used, I'll tell you now. So get a, a pen and paper. We had base layer on mine was faded burlap and salt wash. Same thing with Zeb. The green paint on here is pantry door milk paint that you can buy. On, all this you can buy at jamierayvintage.com. Um, and I did not put any bond in it because I wanted it to be crazy chippy, which it was. We also wet distressed it and used a heat gun, which helped make this get even chippier. If you want to watch that process, you'll have to watch last week's Waste Not Wednesday to see that. And we'll try to link that below when we're not live anymore. Zeb's color, did you use aviary? It was a mix. It basically oh, is aviary. Aviary and farm fresh. Oh, no, farm fresh so, and gypsy green. Yes, I mixed those about one part uh, gypsy green to two parts farm fresh. Okay, or so, some, it might have been 50-50 somewhere. If you there. want to get this color easier, just buy aviary. We just were out of it. So DIY is aviary. Okay, so he didn't use milk paint. He used that. And then I've got Sweet Pickens beeswax, clear wax, and then DIY is black wax. I prefer black over dark because I just feel like it is a color that I like better, but you could get an aged effect with dark wax. And I took that dark black wax and it's all around the hinges and Zeb's doing the same thing because that's where over time grease would naturally build up and get black. So that's why we do it there and then around the edges and I did it in the crackle. And Zeb did this is clear wax and the black wax as well. And we used our JRV stencil brush to apply at least I did the black wax same. Yeah, I just used um, the same because one. that's easier. And then we also use JRV stencils for the numbers. He used the big, like four or five inch numbers. And I used the farmhouse 1917. So, All right. so Jamie hopefully was, that helps you. Jamie was talking about a halo earlier. You can see kind of where I have a line where the brush was. If you take your brush that you were using the clear wax with, you can see it a little better on my piece than on hers. You can kind of just blend that in and it'll still be there but it'll it'll kind of feather it out without removing quite all of it that's a really easy way to control your wax if you get it somewhere you don't want it you just come in with the clear wax over the top it's also why we clear wax first before we do the colored paint or uh, waxes that way we can really control it now my my clear wax brush is can a you clear wax brush. clear wax with diy yes absolutely so we're just using sweet pickens beeswax because it's what we have but i use both sweet pickens beeswax and diy clear wax interchangeably they're both creamy and all natural and will work for your projects so i mean it's really whatever preference i do have to say the beeswax stays sticky for a little bit longer so if you do live somewhere super super humid you might want to stick to the diy wax because it will cure a little bit faster we live in the second driest state in the nation, so not a problem over here where we live. Um, let's and see, I'm new member to... Angela. Welcome, Angela, to channel membership on YouTube. So when we're all done and off camera, I will take this outside and use the air hose and blow all. If you look under here, I didn't even realize before I brought it in the house. We've got some fun surprises. <laughs> we'll clean it all out, get it all done, um, and it, it won't hurt to finish to blow it off with no. the air hose. It'll be fine. Yeah, I like doing this two-part series. It's just a little bit um, easier. It is hard for those of you guys that missed the first video, so you have to go back and watch that. But, uh, yeah, it's been fun. These boxes, you can pick them up thrifting or find them. We actually have more boxes. We probably, I don't know why. It's like little drawers and boxes we're obsessed with, so we have a ton of them. So we're going to make more. Maybe we'll do some different color schemes. We might just start building our own boxes if we run out. Deb, in all your spare time. You're going to build boxes. You know, a guy, I will thrift the boxes and you fix the plumbing in the kids' bathroom. Okay. Deal? Deal. <laughs> um, also, you guys, um, on YouTube, we did not put out a new video yet this week. It's going to come later today or Thursday. And Probably it'll Thursday. also be on Facebook. Um, oh, yeah, because you got that hole out there to deal with. Yep. So Thursday. Um, because we did not, we did a mirror and we just didn't get it finished. But on Facebook, we've been putting up older YouTube videos because we have a ton of new followers on Facebook. So we've been trying to put up some good content on there. All right. I'm just going to look at Zeb. Can you? Give me a spin that around. Yeah. So I can read you, comments. You holding Cody? 
I'm holding Cody. I'm done with my piece so I can answer comments while you finish yours. Okay. Uh, don't let me forget. I want to give you guys like a good pan over both of them when we're all done. Perfect boxes for doggy beds. If you were going to use these for doggy beds or um, for children's toy boxes, you would want to install safety hinges um, on them. And I don't know, even then, I think you'd probably want to take the lid off, right? Like this one, I don't even mm, think. No. I could you make that a doggy bed? I guess you could just leave it open like that. But make sure you put safety hinges anytime they're going to be around kids or dogs. All right, guys. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it out. Hey, I whoa, you went, you're going too soon. I'm not oh, done. Deb's I'm going to give done. them the pan Okay, over. I'm just telling them that. If you want to stick around, <laughs> Deb's going to pan these, and it's going to totally be worth it. Uh, but before, be sure to share the video out. My wax is not going to be nearly as dry as Jamie's because this uh, green color that I've got, the milk paint, absorbs it really well. It takes longer for this to dry out with the DIY. Yeah, Zeb's box is going to be splotchy for a hot minute. And I will get this box listed for sale hopefully today now that I've got it all finished. And Zeb's box will get it shipped out to the customer that bought it probably tomorrow because we want to let that wax cure up for a day. Okay, I think I got all the hinges, hit everything. Let me spin this around so you guys can get the good pan over. I'm going to bring the camera close. Let's Yours see. is good. Yeah, it, mine, mine had a good base. It started out good. It was already like probably didn't need to do too much work to it. I do like the addition of the five on here and the 1917 over here on Jamie's. But just a couple fun projects. And we got two boxes done. Um it probably would not have taken us as long as it did if we were not live because things always go faster when you're not filming it, but a couple hours and we've got two boxes done. Yeah. We can now uh, check these off our list. We're trying to get projects done uh, and out of the, out of the church, out of the shop because we've got to make room for our buying trip coming up here in a little <laughs> bit. So all right, guys, thanks for visiting with us, jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you and, guys. And fun stuff with apparently dogs and the, the city water okay. guys. <laughs> Cody needs attention. He does. He needs it.